Hi, in this video I'm going to make a 3D scan of this uh, colorful toys and then I will try uh, this new service called a white jet process printing. It can print a uh, lacing with the color, I mean full color lacing printing. At JLC uh, 3DP, they have offer a 3D printing service and they want to uh, sponsor uh, the printing material uh, in this video. They have a new service called White Jet Process. If you click here, they offer a printing in the full spectrum of the color. Um, they have like a few samples here that they can print translucent lacing with the color inside. The maximum size is about 30 centimeters. Wall thickness is one millimeter. Clear length between the part is 0 0.2. Uh, less than that, it's gonna fuse together. They don't explain much about this. Uh, what they say is that they print with the white ink. I'm not sure how white ink can create a color. So let's get started with the 3D scanning. We use uh, Math 3 for making this uh, 3D scan color because it's the best uh, color 3D scanner that I have right now. Okay, I'll start with a little fox here. I put some uh, spray, a light spray, because it has uh, black eyes and eyebrows. Okay, move this here and here and firm. Okay, here's the first scan with the color. I'm going to need to scan the, the bottom part and the rail, so probably two more scan. Going to click on add scan. I'm going to flip this, this orientation uh, without refocusing, so I can start the scan now. I'm gonna merge it together. Uh, auto merging. First scan, second scan. Okay, the scan is merged. I'm gonna turn on the color. Preview colors come out. I'm gonna need to scan the real for one more scan. I'm gonna create a group and put the first two scans in the same group so that my third scan will be aligned to the group. It will be easier to merge. Add scan. Okay, it will be a third scan. Put this press down like this, like this, right? So it can scan under the neck, start the scan. Okay, so we merge the third scan to the first group. I click on auto, uh, group one, and turntable three, continue, okay. Let's turn on the color. Looks like we have all we need. Next, I'm going to uh, move this uh, third turntable into the same group. This will be um, white cloud, fox, white cloud, right? And I'm going to merge the scan. And this step, it will fill the gap that cannot be scanned. I choose medium and I mesh it. Okay, here's the meshing result. Okay, uh, let me explain how you can pressing order with the uh, color lesson printing. It's quite different from the other parts. Um, first step that you need to upload your 3D files, uh, OBJ or STL. What you upload, it doesn't has to contain the color texture. Uh, they will use this file for cost estimation and you can upload uh, less than 100 megabytes. Uh, this time I will choose only about 200,000 polygon to keep the file size as small as possible because they are going to charge you uh, by the volumetric uh, amount. Uh, so they use this 3D just for cost estimation. And after you upload them, they will have their engineer inspect your part and then they are going to send you an email and ask for 
the full model and then you send them the link with the OBJ files and the texture files then they will use that high uh, resolution files uh, for making this uh, 3D printing and then after this I will make another full resolution model okay now the smaller file size has been processed I'm going to add it to the project and then I'm going to move uh, my slider to 1 million polygon which is the uh, highest so I click on uh, simplify and convert okay here's my high resolution files with uh, 1 million faces I'm going to uh, texturize it with the color and this will be the files that I will upload to them when they email me okay here's a very nice texturized files I click on add to the project I'm gonna rename it fox no color sample do not print you probably do this so that they don't use this for uh, printing when you send it fox for printing okay so we you have two files uh, export this with the uh, obj format so that there will be three files geometry files a texture files and a material files and okay, my next object will be this uh, kitty it's a thin object so i will probably need to make uh, two or three scans I merge them just to scan together uh, one and the two together continue okay look like a uh, two scan would be enough uh, group it together and then I will merge them click on mesh okay then, then I do the same I put it to like a uh, 200,000 polygons okay I click on add to the project and then I will make a full resolution files click on simplify and convert and next I'm going to uh, texturize it with the color okay texturize done the color is back on oh there's some stain from uh, from the clay and some shadow yeah it cast shadow it's nothing we can do so i will add this to the project kitty do not print kitty for printing uh, let's check the 3d files first in the lender scenes and then i show you how i press the order okay here's a, a 3d scan result so mav3 is uh, currently is the best uh, 3d scanner for scanning the color object see all the details and the colors all come out very nice okay i set my camera to the monitor the uh, the color of the fox is a bit uh lighter than the original object and you can see that there's some stains on the eyes if i look from the back also uh, a little bit uh, lighter than uh, the original object uh, the kitty is uh, very close the color yeah the, the kitty the color is pretty much i mean accurate unlike the fox this is uh, what is different between a 3d scan and the original object okay for making the orders go to a white jet process here click on get instant quotes and then you can uh, drop your files the small one that you made without the texture drop it here uh, it will upload the files so the files contain the size and the volume so they can calculate uh, the price for you okay now the files uploaded now you can get the price if you print with the uh, SLA resin it's gonna cost you 2.66 US dollar which is uh, <laughs> very a reasonable price I mean I don't have a, a lesson printer I click here it's a uh, full color and surface finish you can choose between a gloss finish and a matte finish so uh, this order I'm gonna choose uh, gloss now uh, the fox will cost uh, 29.49 you need to uh, select the harmonized code I choose toy 
and then you can uh, submit order. It will take less than a day. The engineer going to send you an email. They will ask you for the full resolution files. Okay, I just received this from uh, JLC 3DP today, and I never seen resin printing in the full color before. So let's check it together. I think it's been about two weeks. I hope that this nothing is broken. Well, this is a long waiting time. Let's check the first object. It feels like I'm holding a ceramic. It's very glossy. Kitty. Okay, let's take a look at the 3D print from JLC 3DP. I will compare it with the original object here. In the 3D scan, the color of the scan is a little bit uh, brighter, but when I make a 3D print with the white jet process, the color turns a bit darker than it was. And if you look here, the green color is, I mean, it's turned into a dark blue. Uh, the feet areas get darker than this one. I don't see that in the 3D scan. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, this object is light yellow color, but this one is uh, white. So let's move to the back. The back side look uh, okay for the orange, but the same for the green one. It's uh, much darker. Look at the details of the scan. See here. It's uh, a bit heavier than the original object because it's solid. I'm not sure what is the materials that I use for printing, but I think if I don't click on the oil spray, the glossy one, the result would come out uh, better because the original object is not that gloss. So, I mean, probably next time I will try to uh, make the order without um, gloss materials. Look at here the details, see? I think it's as good as like 8K resin printer because it's exactly the same. See here? For the geometry, they've done a very good job. It's as good as uh, a high quality uh, resin printing. Okay, let's move to uh, the second object, the kitty. Kitty, this is the uh, original object. The 3D scan one and the uh, original object, the color tone is very close with the printing. I think it's uh, a bit different. I mean, this one is a bit yellow and this one is purely white. They sent me an email that they will try to erase the shadow here. You should send them the uh, render pictures of your object so that they will know what the color is the original from the 3D scan because it looks uh, very different. This one is much heavier. I put a link in the description if you are interested in the white jet process printing. I don't think they paint this manually, do they? I mean, let's uh, look a bit closer. Uh, there is no color shifting and the black part and the white one is quite sharp. It's sharp, too sharp for, for the brush painting. Thanks guys for watching, I'll see you in the next video.